Good morning! How are you all doing? I'm here with my coffee and I'm, I'm on the other side of the screen. Uh, not sure that is smart. Hang on. Uh, we should have... I'm, I'm on the, in the wrong space. Let, let me fix this. <laughs> we are talking about today. Um, no. Yes. Okay. Uh, today we're talking about Earth 2. And um, why is this being annoying? And I have fixed my camera now. There we go. I'm gonna switch screens again. And there we go. Oh no! <laughs> oh, let me just fix this too. Uh, this is hard. Streaming is hard, you guys. There you go. <laughs> so good morning to you. How are you? Uh, did I change this? Yes, I did. Okay. So there's this conflict. Is it a conflict? I don't know. People are posting videos back and forth and I it's about Earth 2 and I think that's very interesting because their market um, their market uh, idea oh, what, do you, what do you even say well it's it's very smart and it interests me how to to uh, do business and it's also... Uh, it's also interesting to see uh, the tech behind it, like if it's good or not. Anyway, so like I, I'm gonna start by saying like I am kind of biased uh, by <laughs> like finding out about this from videos criticizing it, like you know first impressions and all that. And also, I am a developer first. A project manager second and I would like to be management someday but I'm not yet really I have my own company but it's just me <laughs> so, um, so uh, like in in any like conflict or whatever I tend to take the developer's side because they usually know what they're talking about and they usually treat it badly and they usually deserve to be listened to they usually uh, us usually uh, you usually benefit from listening to the de developers um, because they know what they're talking about and they don't so much care for their own well that, that may not be true in all cases so I won't say it <laughs> okay but they, they usually care about things being done right so uh, usually. So I thought I would go to Earth 2's website to get a feel for what it is. And I think their website is very interesting in that they have down here, they have like uh, ideology a button here that you can click, but that's not where you want, they want you to go. They want you to check out PDF. Read this to understand the Earth 2 vision. This is the, like the first thing they put on the peanut, uh, I mean the Earth 2 symbol here. <laughs> so, okay then, let's, I'm gonna close all the other stuff. Oh no, I did a thing before stream, I thought that was very interesting. Uh, anyway, so here's a Earth 2 web document token and more, and they link. Uh, this document was published in order to provide an update to the community and invite feedback. Okay, well, uh, this is what you wanted me to go and read to find out what what the project even is. So let's zoom in a bit here so we can all read. Here's their <laughs> draft only, but here's some numbers. They cl claim um, 
that they have sold 90 million tiles uh, and um, if you look at their website tiles seem to go for like eight six five I think these are tiles being bought. I'm not sure what it is but it, it's right or what it, I don't know it might be let's say a tile is five dollars uh, and then they have sold like on average and they have sold 90 million of them imagine that pile of money I want to get in on that can I come work with you <laughs> you seem you seem to know what you're doing in getting money into the business uh, so that's here so they, they have tr 20 percent traffic from the USA as if as if traffic's from somewhere else is not something to brag about I don't understand why they put this number here like what does it why does it matter uh, and like my traffic to their website is that detracting from this number and is that good or bad I don't know jewels crafted players sold jewels luminous jewels brilliant jewels there's a lot of jewels apparently disclaimer here's Here's some fun parts. Uh, okay, we gotta. Oops. So, the content provided in this draft summary in Earth 2 update is intended solely to provide general background information about Earth 2's proposed objectives. It should not be interpreted as a white paper, disclosure statement, representation, or promise. So uh, if there's any claims in this, there is, they're not promising to do this. <laughs> Just to be clear, so you, so you don't like get confused. The content should be considered as an indica indicative update, but remains subject to change without notice. All right, okay, so this can change at any time. The information in this update was posted with reasonable care and attention. So they're writing here that we we, did, we, we put some reasonable care and attention to it, but we, it wasn't on a top priority for the, whoever did this. Like uh, they, it's reasonable. Like it might be wrong, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Uh, however, no representation or warranty expressed or implied is made by Earth 2 as to the fairness, accuracy, completeness or correctness of the information, opinions and conclusions contained in this draft summary and update. Remember, this is the first thing that they asked me to look at when coming to their website and wondering what is Earth 2. This is the first thing they want me to read. And I think it's uh, interesting that they are putting this word here instead of uh, we, we we put as much care and, uh, and attention as we possibly could into this they they say reasonable this is probably for legal um legal reasons but it, it's i mean you could put that this in the end couldn't you like is this really the first thing you want a new user to see i'm just reading here um Okay, Earth 2 disclaims all liability for direct or indirect losses resulting from using, relying, or acting upon information in the draft summary and update. So don't rely on this document for financial investment, basically, because they don't take responsibility for that. Uh, as this draft summary and update document, is a draft summary and doc update document, we expect there to be future in internal iterations of this document to, to come uh, because they're not they just put reasonable care and attention into writing it so we, we might find something that is wrong if we know things if you have feedback ideas or thoughts you would like to share with us regarding this document please email us so we can review them as we continue to finalize our plans but this is just an update right so it's okay uh introduction let's go to the introduction look at this it's very nice i wonder if if uh, this particular image 
is present somewhere on the internet. I'm just curious. I just want to know. Okay, so let's uh, let's save this as Earth to me. Okay, and go to this uh, reverse image search that I found. Uh, rewind. I've been playing Hundred Baby Challenge. Uh, where's my where's my little? I'll just put that in here. Show matching images. I don't know if I'm gonna find anything. What what did it look like in first place? It's not very. I I get a lot of drumming field. Okay. Is this? Yeah, it, it kind of looks like that, but it's not the image. It's just. Interesting to do. Yeah. Anyway, is this it? Is this where did it go? There. Is is this what the Earth Two is going to look like? We don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. This document should not be relied upon. <laughs> uh, this image, though, that's very funny. Let Let's do a, a reverse image search for that one. Uh, uh, such oops I, I snipped it before search another image oh what is happening come on let's see if we find something So I, I already did this before and I um, found this. So if we go and see this, it says made with Unity drone by Five Studios Interactive. So I don't know if they bought this image or if they made this image, like if uh, Five Studios Interactive did this image on their behalf, like, but they, they used Unity, so that's interesting. I guess I'm just saying it's here, and you can look into it if you want. It's just an interesting thing that they put. Why? Why did they put that there? <laughs> like, it's interesting. The place you now stand is digitally rep represented inside of Earth Two, manifesting the beginning of an omnipresent imperative towards achieving. The ultimate goal of a metaverse, which feel as though it lives, breathes, and exists around you, whether you may stand on this planet. Shane Isaac says that. Said that. Okay. So, what is the Earth Two? Earth Two is a futuristic concept for a second Earth, a metaverse. So, a um, metaverse is just uh, like imagine Facebook, where you can chat with people but you can also play games uh, so uh, i mean that's interesting earth who will begin as uh, yeah so, so um basically it's a platform where you could put your stuff like games or other <laughs> you can, you could put it, probably put a facebook on a metaverse it's like a container it's like saying like it's an operating system but it's online something like that uh and what i'm confused about is is this a metaverse or is it a game and it appears to be both i think um it's a futuristic concept for a second Earth, a metaverse verse between a virtual and physical reality in which real world geolocations or on a section map corresponds to user regenerated digital virtual environments. Yeah, so basically they're going to have a copy of the Earth and they're going to have places <laughs> with uh, 
GPS coordinates, basically. Uh, so you can say this this is in Iowa, this is in Sweden, this is in Stockholm, uh, because you have the you have the the GPS coordinates saying that this is this place. But the buildings will not be the same. You'll see why. Uh, these environments produce digital assets can be owned, bought and sold and in the near future deeply customized. This draft update will detail how these digital environments will continue to evolve far beyond their current capabilities. This was just words. Uh, but there, there will be dig digital assets uh, which like tells us, yes, it's a game. Uh, you, you will have things in the game that you can buy and sell. Uh, like in the World of Warcraft, you can buy and sell all things and materials and stuff you crafted and stuff. So this will have that too. It says here, Earth 2 will begin as pristine, untouched and uninhabited virtual version of Earth. I, I think it's funny that it says will begin because I feel like it already has since they already have sold 90 million tiles and there's 230,000 hollow buildings on it so it's not untouched anymore so this is like outdated like but, but maybe this was uh, posted before this page was made <laughs> what okay i don't understand how they can say it's untouched uh it will ultimately be played as unless those hollow buildings uh will not be in the game when it launches in which case uh people that paid for those hollow buildings will probably not be happy Who's to say? Uh, it will ultimately be player designed, created, built and owned using the technology developed by the Earth 2 team. Each piece of... Yeah, okay. So using their technology, the players will build stuff on it. Uh, each piece of virtual land will maintain an irrefutable link back to the physical world through its unique corresponding geolocational attribute, meaning like GPS uh, coordinates, I assume. It doesn't say that here, but it kind of says that here with other words. They, they like to use other words for things. They could just say like each GPS coordinates on the real earth will have a corresponding spot on the earth too. So just saying. What is built inside Earth 2 will be the result of either player time, investment, effort, or a mixture of all three. Result of player time, investment, effort. Player time. Okay, so you could not invest but still build? I don't know. Or all three. Wait. Player time, investment, effort. What's the difference between player time or effort? Uh, is stuff just gonna get built without effort? <laughs> if you just put time in? This, this sentence is weird, okay. Anyway, this will serve to create justifiable et extrinsic value. And I googled extrinsic because I didn't know what it meant. Here we go. Uh, I'll just put that up. Ah! What did I do now? Put that image search over there. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you can read. Where did you come from? <laughs> uh, also, it's funny <laughs> that I, of course, have some inspection of some website up uh, in the background. <laughs> That's typical of me. I always <laughs> inspect websites. I not, must know what's behind. Okay. Anyway, in ex intrinsic and extrinsic properties in science and engineering. Intrinsic property is a property of a specific subject that exists itself or within the subject. An extrinsic property is not essential 
inher or inherent to the subject that is being categorized. For example, this is a really good example, by the way. For example, mass <clears throat> is an intrinsic property of any physical object, whereas weight is an extrinsic property that depends on the strength of the gravitational field in which the object is placed. So you all know yeah, like you have a certain mass, but if you're on the moon, you don't weigh as much. <laughs> so, so extrinsic means that it depends on where you are. Uh, and I think that's uh, very well explained there, Wikipedia, thank you. <laughs> so this will serve to create a justifiable extrinsic, depending on the game, value on everything that exists within Earth 2 and therefore reinforce a true play to earn ecosystem. So basically they will have some kind of uh, you know, like in World of Warcraft, I play that a lot, so that's why I'm getting back to it all the time. Uh, there's the auction house, and like if uh, if I buy all the iron, like I did that by the way, <laughs> and then sell it back to a higher value uh, or to a higher price, that higher price is the value if other players buy it. So I just increase the value of iron temporarily. It's a really naughty way of making money in World of Warcraft, by the way. Uh, it doesn't create fun for anyone, <laughs> really. Uh, anyway, launching in November 2020, Earth 2 experienced unprecedented growth and uh, oh, this is the bragging part. Yeah. Launching in tw November of 2020, Earth 2 experienced unprecedented unpre growth and remains the biggest registry of virtual land holdings in the world across all metrics. Uh, I know of no other virtual land holding, so this is probably true, including the amount of land sold and the number of unique people who own that land. Using common growth measurement rules in the industry within 12 months of launch, uh, Earth2 is one of the most successful consumer startups in history in terms of user adoption, revenue, user or user sales and engagement rates. Uh, again, probably true if, if these numbers are correct, but uh, remember the disclaimer that they put reasonable care and attention uh, into this and the numbers might be wrong. So. <laughs> Disclaimer. Uh, it is impossible to ignore the fact that the metaverse space is, is an exciting one, with a growing number of reasons as to why reputable companies such as JP Morgan are claiming it will become a trillion dollar market opportunity in re yearly revenues. Yes, because it will be uh, metaverses uh, will be platforms where you can put stuff like games or email or like you could probably put like facebook or google like on the metaverse i i'm not exactly sure but uh having the majority of the market uh will be important if you want to make money uh new users will not have an easy time uh growing um because it, it will be like so everyone uses Facebook even though they hate Facebook because everyone is there. But that's not true anymore because most people don't use Facebook anymore because it's bad. <laughs> I I don't I think there's a lot of people on there whenever I go on there. But I usually don't because I don't like it. But it, it's like uh if if Twitter Twitter is a good platform, it's not denying that for discussion <clears throat> and but if no one was there then it wouldn't be perceived good at all so a metaverse is not valuable unless you have users it's like if you have an mmorpg and no one is playing it doesn't matter how good it is it's not going to be fun because no one is there and no one will want to invest in it and no one will want to like pay you money for it and it will sort of die 
and so so this yes yes and metaverses are it's uh, d exciting but it's it's like you get in early and you get you get a good grip on the market or you it's like the game of thrones you if you play the win in the game of thrones you win or you die <laughs> like it's there's no in between you can't be like half big because then why would people go there because and also yeah i'm not i'm not good with words right now but uh let me just say these good words if you are not paying then you are the product and that's true on facebook it's true on google like it's it will be true on the metaverses or any metaverse so just you know all right i'm i'm growing tired of this why why is this the first thing that they want new user to read i don't know um because it's not like i would i would want them to go i will put this on top i would like put this on top because like see here's an overview of what it is but they don't want me to read that first no 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 uh i'm just gonna read will i no i think we, we read this introduction and we are done with this now <laughs> and i'm gonna go and read their mission statement uh regardless of what they think i should do to get a grip on what this is um mission statement our future is virtual is it though it might be i don't know maybe uh the information age is accelerating technology at an unprecedented speed as we see more and more science fiction realized well it has been true but i think like at some point people are going to go like hey i want to see outside <laughs> too like right now we're like um I hope we're at the end of this stupid pandemic where everyone is forced to sit inside and watch our computer screens. And then people are going to want to travel. Uh, I mean, if the future is virtual, why is it that my family had to decide, okay, we have to vacation uh, within the country this year because the, the queue lines, the, the virtual queue lines, okay then, um, for getting a passport for our daughter that we want to bring, of course, uh, is so long that uh, the summer will be over before she gets her passport. We can't go abroad because so many people want to do it. This is not the usual state of things um so then it makes me really question this our future is virtual thing i don't think so i think people really enjoy the real world the information age is accelerating yes fantastic already today many of us live half online and with every passing year the fantastic sci-fi metaverse of ready play one and snow crash what is snow crash i haven't heard of that let's search for snow crash what is snow crash the science fiction novel am i in the way again huh. no uh Published 1992, like many of Stevenson's novels, it covers history, language, okay, fantastic. What is it? Plot summary. Los Angeles, a non-specific number of years after a worldwide economic collapse, that Los Angeles is no longer part of the United States since the federal government has ceded most of its power and territory to provide. Is this a well-known book? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, 
Franchise since individual sovereignty and private vehicles reign supreme. Mercenary armies complete, compete for national defense contracts. What does this have to do with Earth 2? Preserve the peace in sovereign gated housing developments. Highway companies compete to attract drivers to their roads. And all mail deliveries by hired courier. The remnants of government maintain authority only in isolated compounds where they do tedious make work that is by large irrelevant to the society around them. This sounds very dystopic. Uh, much of the world's territory has been carved up into sovereign enclaves known as... Okay, but wait. Okay. I, I don't... Well, we all know Ready Player One. It's that movie where they all keep playing this virtual game. Or going into this virtual world where you can do anything. Uh, which a metaverse should accomplish by just being a platform for you to put any game on. So then you can go in there and do anything. But I don't know really. Sure. Sure. <laughs> There's a long road ahead of us. Yes, you're creating a metaverse and uh, Mark Zuckerberg is also doing that and he's not done. So apparently it's not easily done. <laughs> As a new virtual future slowly becomes non-fiction, it may not be as long as many think. Earth 2 believes that carving out the foundation of this world may be one of the most important ongoing technology, technical developments of the next decade and beyond. Oh, that's words. It's gonna be awesome. Earth 2 aims to bring people and technologies together by creating a robust location-based games and technologies platform. See here, they, they say it's a platform for you to put games and tech on. We support strong virtual communities and economies. Earth 2 will be about people and the virtual representation of, our pla of places which bring them together. See here, it's it's that, like, it's hard for people to grasp thing. It's right here. <laughs> this is hard to grasp. Uh, and that's why the, it's so smart to put it on, like, a virtual globe and says, and say like here it's something that you're familiar with you know how this works it's like land <laughs> and we put a lot of tiles here and you can buy them and sell them and suddenly people feel like they know exactly what it is uh, which is very smart and they I mean another smart thing about that is when I heard about this my immediate instinct was I want to go and buy the place where I grew up to make sure that I have it and no one else have it and I decide what is going to be on there because I want what I want to be on there to be there and so if everyone has that feeling like I want to buy where I live I want to buy where I work I want to you know then you're going to sell a 90 million tiles of land the tiles are not very big either i think anyway for this reason we believe it's critical to be transparent about our goals plans and approach with our community and followers from an early stage okay well um so in this we had where, what is the goals then uh, tokenomics, that's cute. Roadmap, so that's on page 36. Oh my goodness, did you expect me to read all this? Oh, oh, no they don't, they expect me to not read all this and then say I haven't read all this uh, to prove that I'm wrong about things if I have questions. I bet you anything. Not really, though. I don't bet. <clears throat> roadmap. This roadmap provides an indication on where when Earth 2 expects to deliver various features and technologies. By the way, 
I feel like I'm reading a lot and it's probably very boring. So uh, you can use this to fall asleep probably. <laughs> you take this video, use it to fall asleep. Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, various features and technology developments into Earth 2, as it is represented with previous updated updates deployments. We expect future de predicted deployments to include more than what is listed in this document. <laughs> way to way to raise your expectations. We we won't tell you we will do something, but we expect to do more than we what we will tell you. So always expect more. Invest in our company, please. Very smart. Some features have intentionally not been listed. Some features listed in the coming section may be scheduled for earlier delivery, but we have chosen to not to display when that delivery is to be expected. Some descriptions inside the roadmap are intentionally vague due to confidentiality reasons. All right, what is the roadmap? Draft only! <laughs> uh, okay, November 2020. Wait, when was this posted? I'm confused. <laughs> I am confused. Didn't they say they launched? I mean, it's it's a jumble of, of uh, time. Launching in November 22, uh, to experience when is this written like when am i supposed to read this where where am i in time like it it, it did launch in november 2020 i assume <coughs> oh no i need to get back where was i uh there uh official launch of earth 2 platforms and entire su suite of base features earth 2 inception Inception video created in October. Okay. Extensive performance updates. Uh, right. Okay. Automated referral code system. And marketplace filters. I mean, th this, these are all things that they already did then. Uh, two factor of security, new login, new payment system. Fantastic. Okay, but, but, but what is coming? Where are we now? We are in 2022. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, it goes this way. <laughs> okay, okay. Customizable referral codes has already happened according to this for tier one property owners discounts for tier one customer referral codes 7.5% discount refund okay introduction of ether heat map I wonder if I can see that ether heat map Progressive release of locked countries over Q1. Oh my goodness. So what is coming in Q1 is Bidding Hub, Hub 2 major update. Bidding Hub. Oh, very exciting. Player to player bidding. Well, what if I don't care about buying tiles? Uh, new leaderboards. EPL flagging removal function. Is this supposed to excite me? I don't know. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna skip to the end. <laughs> Ads marketplace. That's the last thing that they will do, apparently. What? Here's some numbers. Streaming. WordPress. Dalin. Voting system. M. Erm. This uh, probably means stuff that I haven't seen yet because I skipped all the, the other pages. Avatars! Version 1 is coming, but there's not going to be a version 2. Oh, the end goal! Here's the end goal. What's the end goal? We, we must know. So what is the end goal inside of Earth 2? What should I be doing or striving to do? First of all, long term 
you should be looking to create your own space. A space where you can escape and feel happy. I have my own space here <laughs> and I'm happy here. Um, also, I play The Sims. So, mission accomplished for that one. Where you can look at the digital things you own and the things you created and reflect on what each one is and how you came to acquire it. What? So you can buy stuff and then you can look at them. Do you feel happy? <laughs> That's the end goal. How they make you your space into what you want it to be. Digital things you own and the things you have created. Things. All right, okay. For others, Earth 2 will... Oh, oh, okay. So this is just like for, for some people. For others, Earth 2 will be a place to flex. Oh, I'm not interested in that at all. To play the game and not only collaborate, but to compete with others. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, if it's a game. Again, are you creating a metaverse, which is a huge huge project or are you creating an mmorpg which is a huge huge project please i mean that's that's a lot why why do you why did you decide to do both to be better than the next player and to have more than the next player well yeah, some people care about that i assume to be one step ahead, to show up the trophies and designs and travel Earth 2 in style. To have a visual aura around them which speaks volumes of their presence. Alright, okay. It will be a place, a place where all players who believe in the metaverse and the value of digital and virtual items and worlds can come together with a common understanding and common ground without needing to say a word. Web3 has given a glimpse into what commonly accepted value lies in virtual and digital goods and Earth 2 will become an axis which brings all such things into one place with the ability to build, display, hold, use, link, discover, experience, all by which solidify the value and worth of everything that exists in Earth 2. Two was this all? Yeah, this was all one sentence, and it was long, and it's a salad of words. It will be cool. It says so here. It will be a place where a player can start from scratch, without land, without assets, by simply creating a free account and putting in some de dedication, time and effort to make their way. It will be a place to conquer, avenge, ally, trade, build, play, fight, create, express, connect and so much more. That sounds like an MMORPG to me. Because of all of this, traditional commerce will follow. People and businesses will create 3D environments inside of Earth 2, not only to sell digital wares, but physical wares too. People will advertise, hustle, bustle, and suddenly we have a buzzing world with a world... We have a buzzing world, but a world where the extraordinary can, can and will happen every day. A place where the virtual you can live forever. Would you like to join us? <laughs> I feel like I'm being indoctrinated or something. <laughs> we are creating a second Earth, Earth 2. A geological metaverse of the real world and a place that will transform into things we have not yet envisioned. Player, thank you for playing. Uh, okay. Wait, okay. Okay, that's their goals. <laughs> I feel like they were... I don't know. I feel tired. Approach. Earth 2 was created because there needs to be a central platform, which over time brings together all key VR, haptic and similar, relevant emerging technologies for use and enjoyment by people within an open world that is massive, magical and familiar. It won't be familiar. No, if you remove, if you think of a place, think of a place with buildings on it. And then uh, you remove all the buildings, you replace all the trees, 
like all the vegetation it will be probably allegedly <laughs> i don't know it will be generated so like if if you imagine that and like individual rocks and stuff i will you put that down uh like think of a place and think of what makes you recognize that place and think is it height over the sea like is it the height map that you will recognize and at some extent, I think you would, but in some other ways, like without buildings, without trees, without bushes, without like, like there might be trees and bushes, but I think they're not going to look the same. Like they can't, um, right? Like that would be crazy. L imagine if they, if they did, imagine if they replicated every, <laughs> every living tree on the planet. No. <laughs> You can't do that. Um, so, so uh, will it be familiar though? Hmm? I'm not so sure. And also, like, okay, so you get to a place, the height map is the same, but someone could cut all the trees down and put skyscrapers there, or uh, the Statue of Liberty is three times over, and like the White House, and like the Swedish government buildings next to each other. Will it... Okay, those things will be familiar, I guess. But they might not have built that. They might have built something out of their own imagination. Will you recognize that place? Mm, maybe. Like, um, I'm, just, I'm just being skeptical here. Our key approach to Earth 2 is long-term sustainability. We believe that approaching this correctly from an early stage is paramount to its success long-term. Uh, yeah, that's true of any project. If you don't start correctly, then you will have problems along the lines. Like, for instance, Sims 4 uh, started with an engine that was made for mobile single-player games. No, uh, multiplayer games. Um, I think. Well, they were making a, a multiplayer game, anyway. So, and then they have a lot of restrictions because of it. And then they removed the multiplayer part of the game because Sims, uh, Sims City flopped. And, and now <laughs> we, are, we are like seven years into to Sims 4. And there's so many problems because of how it started. And you will never get away from how it started ever in a project. So start correctly. Take care to start correctly. And if you're like one year in and you you realize that this was not correct, don't go another seven years with that incorrect start. Make Earth 3 in that case. Like, seriously. Uh, it's worth starting over at some points. Anyway, in order to achieve this, we aim to roll out various phases that progressively contribute, uh, contr progressively contribute toward the final Earth 2 goal of providing a massive online VR world experience unlike any other. These phases will focus on being interesting, progressive, engaging, and will always aim to be relevant to future Earth 2 systems and evolution. They will also help build purpose and ownership from within the Earth 2 community while running parallel with technology advances and game development as they become available. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I zoned out while reading that. <laughs> These phases will focus on being interesting, progressive, engaging, and will always aim to be relevant to future Earth 2 system and evolution. Yeah, okay, so they, they are making this in phases. Um, they will also help build purpose and ownership from within the Earth 2 community while running parallel with technology advances and game development as they become available. Yeah, okay. Build purpose and ownership. I assume they mean a sense of purpose and ownership. Anyway, phases. From time to time, we will release information about upcoming phases. 
There are a number of internal phases which are not listed here due to confidentiality or commercial reasons. What we can say is that we are he heavily committed to expanding the purpose behind virtual land in Earth 2 and ultimately increasing demand and value for that land. Phase 1. Claim land. This will bring them a lot of money. <laughs> Look at this, it's crazy. What? It's just, people are just pouring money into this. And this phase involves the ability to claim, buy, trade, bid, anal analyze land, trade, prices, and more. You can read about phase one here and more about some of the features in the web app supporting phase one here. Okay, so basically they have a big map of the earth and they are selling pieces of it. Like, uh, because earth two will be a one-to-one -one representation of all the... the um, GPS coordinates, <laughs> geolocations, so they can just take the actual map and say that you want to buy this place. Very smart. You don't have to develop very much to do that. Phase two, resources. Resources will be released in Q1 2022. It will involve the ability for virtual land to begin generating different types of resources. This is the game part of the Earth 2. I don't, I still don't understand why, <laughs> why they didn't make a game and a metaverse. Uh, I, I, I would choose one if I were you. Like, split the team in two. One, make, one is making the metaverse and one is making this game. And this game will probably be on the metaverse. I don't understand. Um, that will be vital for building and economic purposes of Earth 2. These resources will be tradable between users for other resources or credits. In the future, users requiring resources to build or for other purposes will need to generate or gather resources or buy them with credits from users to have stock. We will also, yeah, so like it's like in the World of Warcraft where if you want to craft something, you need the materials for it <laughs> and you will get that from playing the game <laughs> yeah sure why not we will also be releasing details about general uses for the varying resources more to come phase three terrain that's in phase three that's the final phase that they put out here in phase three users will be given first access to the earth to terrain system more to come Wait, I'm confused. No, I'm not. Well, okay, so so this uh, phase two is in Q1 2022. Q1 is over, by the way. So this is already done, according to this. Uh, Q1 ends <laughs> when April starts. We're in Q2 now. But uh, I, I heard someone say that they don't update their website uh, according to the terms of service. Anyway, uh, so phase three should be underway now, uh, which is, it, it, it makes sense. Because here we have. Hello, everyone. Uh, do you, can you hear that? Everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I think I'll mute that one. Well, and that you're keeping safe. Just wanted like to start song. off and say something about developers. I love developers. You guys are amazing. Whether, when you're starting out. I think this is, trying, yeah, help, okay. You guys are yeah, he has to say this. <laughs> because, um, he's the CEO of a company that is developing things if he would were to say I, I hate developers no one would work for him and he wouldn't have project product so uh good that you like your employees <laughs> um and i i just want to point out that this person has uh 1,000 subscribers and this video has over a thousand comments 
and 8,600 views at this point in time. So that's why I put this comment here, uh, that he is discovering how lucrative YouTube drama is. <laughs> and that is why he posts this video. And uh, I have to go now because I'm having lunch with a dear friend um, soon and I have to get there first. I don't want to do that. Uh, but in my next uh, look at this, I am going to uh, go through this video. Hello. No, no, we're not going to go through this video. We're going to go through this video first, because he, this is this is uh, very ex interesting. He is like creating a project that is bigger than what Mark Zuckerberg is doing because he is doing a metaverse and they these guys are too but on top of that they are also making a mass multiplayer online game I don't know if it's going to be roleplay but it's going to be an MMO <laughs> you know um, and so that's a huge project. Like most of them fail because the scope is so large and they not only have they decided to, to take on a, a, <laughs> a huge project, but they have decided that their map will be the largest that anyone has ever heard of in an MMO. I have never heard of a, a map this big. So they, they're they making like, this This has got to be the biggest pro, the biggest IT project there is right now. So, and while he's doing that, he has time to be upset that this other, nice shirt by the way, it looks very nice. Um, I should make, something like that that uh, for my company uh, he has decided that he will um, challenge or he did challenge a another youtuber that said hey you can't do this this is uh, very large and besides the project being very large what you have shown so far appears to just be tech that is available to all of us out of the box when we like install unity we have this uh, these functions already but you claim to have made your own propriet proprietary software to do the same thing for some reason um, and, and we we are we are skeptical. You haven't shown that you can do this, and people are just pouring huge. I mean, did you see those numbers that they say themselves? Like, where is it? Here, these numbers, they're crazy. Like ninety million titles sold. Like, okay, for, to buy a title, you need to put money into this company. And uh, you buy the title, uh, whatever. So, and then, uh, of course, if another, you can sell the title and you can take the money out, but you will not get the full amount that you sold it for. And to sell it, another player has to put that money in. So the in initial money that you put in will always stay in the game. Uh, it can't be taken taken out unless tiles start to devalue and I don't think they will uh, they claim here that 40 million plus paid out to players I mean yeah sure probably why not but it, it, that's crazy numbers and while that is going on the CEO is challenging um, a youtuber to to do stuff in seven days i mean it's fun right <laughs> and 
and if he does it, he gets uh, 10,000. Um, and now uh, that has been done. Um, the challenge was extended and, and it was accepted and it was uh, turned in, I guess, by a video. And uh, and now he has said, yeah, he, yeah, no, he didn't do the things. And I'm going to give the money to charity instead. Uh, which I, I don't even. <laughs> so so um, I would like to go through and see if that was the right call or not, basically. And the funny thing about this is uh, he put a lot of things here in the description. Uh, now I'm getting it on screen. It's That's good because then we can go back later and see if it's changed. But what we can't do is we can't see if this text was here when the challenge was extended because this could be edited at any point in time. So in order for us to know what it said here, we need to find someone that made a video about this and showed this. Um, when this was posted on Mar March 23rd. So if you know about anyone that did that, please put the link to that video uh, so that we can check that this was not changed. Because if it was already here, then uh, some of the things that's written here might change things. Because all the videos I have seen uh, only takes this part because it says here, like, there's a lot of text and there are a lot of fluff, like, background, challenge detail, no trickery. Uh, and then it, here it comes, here are seven key requirements. So you're led to believe, sort of, most people are led to believe that this, if you, if you do this, if you only read this and only do go off on this, uh, you can... Uh, say that you have done the challenge, but some people say uh, no, you need to read the whole thing. And yeah, it, it, I'm just saying it depends. I have to go now, and <laughs> but thank you for um, listening to this. If this was at all interesting to you, um, I expect it wasn't, uh, but. <laughs> You know, here it is. So um, until next time, have a super duper time. And don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and all the YouTube things. Um, and uh, take care. Bye bye.